Larry Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Lynch of McGuanago, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Wings Over Wisconsin, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Commit Law Firm, Kamalon Measuring Tools, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Otter, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. That's a snazzy looking vest you got there. Hey, got this from my good friends over at Bartline Barrels. Yep, Luann picked this out. So, better not be commenting anything bad about my vest. There's a reason why we don't have the Warrior today. And you will see later on, there's no way I'm taking my Warrior up into all them rocks and getting it all beat up. Believe me, I love my warrior. I, I love my warrior so much, I'm not letting this guy beat it up. It'll end up looking like your truck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, I'm loving this vest. I'll tell you right now, it's a little cool out this morning. I got something to say too. Yeah. Larry, you're early today. Yeah, that's the rarity, I know it is. Hey, welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. This morning, we're up here with our good friend, Brian Claremont. Hey, buddy. How's it going, Larry? You gave me a call the other day and said the smallmouth, the pike, and the walleyes are biting like crazy on the river here on the Menominee. And I said, you know what? We had such a good time last time we were up here, and we always have a good time with you, Brian. I said, you know what? Let's jump in the truck, run up, and see what you got cooking here. What, what can we expect today? Now, don't be telling us we're going to have a 100 fish day or 80 fish day. I'm not saying any numbers today. <laughs> I'm just going to say we're going to have a good time. We're going to have fun like always, and we're yep. going to catch a bunch of fish. That sounds awesome. Hey, you know what? I even got my daughter Lucy. I drug her out of bed at 4 o'clock this morning and had said, let's jump in the truck and beat staying at home. You ready to catch some fish today, Luz? Yeah. That's it, huh? Yeah? We'll get her excited. Well, she'll be excited for sure, Brian. Hey, you know what? Stay tuned. Let's see what happens today up here on the Menominee River fishing out of Marinette. Hey, and Brian, we're going to fish the lower part, and then we're going to go up a little later after After we're going to go back in and have some good lunch and fish the upper part too, huh? Yep. Um, the water's warm. There's a lot of water flow up there, and the fish are all up in the current, so we should have a lot of, a lot of fun up there. Good. I even brought my muskie rod. I'm going to try a couple of shots at uh, maybe a shot at a muskie here. And there's some big pike running around too. So. I'll take a big pike too. Let's have some fun and catch a fish. Good. Let's rock and roll. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind, and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see a picture of you having fun in the outdoors. And to have a chance to win a trip with us here on Larry Smith Outdoors and a hardened soft water fishing kit, all you have to do is submit that picture to the badgersportsman.com. It's nice to go into another body of water. Got the guide. 
I can relax, enjoy. Hey, hey, Brian, you said throw behind the pillar. Lucy, guess what? Five bucks on the first fish, and look at look who's got the first fish. Whoa. Is it a muskie? No. Wait. It's a oh, walleye. It's a walleye. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, guess what? You know what? You said we were going smallmouth fishing today. We might catch a few walleyes. You know something? I do believe I am a walleye fisherman. Hey, Lucy, what do you got to say about that? Five bucks. <laughs> Well, someone could have told me that. Good job, Lair. Nice walleye. Hey, hey. You got Brian. Another little walleye. There you go. Oh, that's a decent fish right there. These are nice eaters here anyway. Right, they are. And you know what? That, that wa We got a cool night last night. We've been catching lots of bass in here. Yep. And uh, boy, that water cooled off. And I'm surprised we're catching walleyes to start today. But hey, we'll take them. Right. Well, hey, we don't we're, we don't care what we're catching. Long nope. We're catching something. As long right? as something's pulling on any of the rod here. Now that fish was Good. laying in front of that pillar, huh? Yep. I caught mine behind that pillar. Yep. If you're gonna eat fish, perfect That's, eating size. But we're yeah, gonna let that them go today. A perfect eater. We got right cheeks there. today for lunch. So. Ooh, cheeks. That's some precision casting. That's vertical jigging right there. Hey, let's see you do that. Tip of the day. I bet you catch more fish if you're based in the water. Right, that's probably <laughs> true. I got one. Yeah, right, Lucy, You do yeah. have one. How did that happen? Wow. That All is right. that is one desperate smallmouth right there. Oh. <laughs> uh, you were just sitting on the side of the boat, dragging that tube jig. Oh, you yeah, finally. The same one. <laughs> right. No, it's not. It's the same one. No, I think not. you're in the nursery. <laughs> What is going on? Now you're on that side of the boat. Well, you're get, a getting a little bigger. A little? It's a lot bigger. What? You got to do better than that, though. At least you're catching them. This I'm, is the Lucy show. Hey, look at this. Look at your, see, hold your fish up. See that? That's what I'm fishing for is a little bit bigger than what you're fishing for. Lucy took a break, and all of a sudden you cut into her I little bass. And the old jerk been off. Oh, it's Erkman. Got to go through a few small ones before you get to the big ones. Oh, yeah. It's raining. Stop! When I was her age, I would have been fishing for 15 hours without a break. That's the way this, new, this generation is nowadays. What? Oh, you sighted the fish again? Now that Brian caught one? Yeah. All right. She's ahead of all of us. Yeah, she yeah. is. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lay down on the bench right here. Maybe that's what it takes to catch them. That's the kind of fishing. <laughs> what do you got, Bry? Another little hey, smallie. Did you go with the tube? Yeah, you, you can't, can't beat them. Lucy whooping you, huh? You can't beat them. Right, right yeah, I like that. It looks like a little better fish. Yeah, huh? a little oh, bit yeah. Better. Oh, a little bit better. A little better. Um, they've been slow here this morning, but they've been picking up here a little bit since that sun's been pounding on the water. It didn't look like it was slow when Lucy was fishing. Yep. I think it's my lucky puppy. Let's get some more and make them bigger. What is going on? What is, what is going on? That's ridiculous. It's the Lucy show. The Lucy show, right? Hey, I don't know if we're going to take you along anymore. You're making me it's look bad. Oh, oh, nice one. Fish. You need a net. No, Yep. Watch this, you don't pound them hard on the, on the boat. Yep. All right. Good nice job, job, Lucy. I am not holding it because you're not holding it. I don't want to get smacked. What do you mean? They don't slip. Nice job. I got made fun of by it. my teacher. Come on, give it a kiss. No. Give me a kiss, Lucy. You don't want that thing to die, do give you? Give me a kiss. Give me a Put kiss. Put it in the water. Right, it'll die if she kisses. <laughs> right? Good job, girl. Kiss 
Kalins has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows, you can't see that jerk minnow, can you? Oh, to our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. Oh, that's a Kalins wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Patrick, what are you doing out here? Mark, I'm going fishing this weekend, but with this massive selection of trucks, I can't figure out which one to take. The brand new Lynch Maguanago stores have a massive selection of brand new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram trucks, cars, vans, and SUVs. Make your next stop at the all new state of the art Lynch Maguanago dealerships today. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Kalen's catches everything. It does. <laughs> Put that jerk minnow back on, Ryan, and that right away. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's amazing that them bass, how they fight. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'll grab it. <laughs> Got him? No. You believe me? No. <laughs> Thought you were going to grab it. You know, that's the nice part about. Uh, fishing with you, Brian, is that there's definitely a lot of action all the time on these rivers. And you're saying this afternoon is going to really be something. We should do good up above. That sounds really good. I mean, we've caught plenty of fish now. Just uh, be nice to get a few bigger ones mixed in here, but I'm sure it's going to happen. You were right about that, though. Right away this morning, it was pretty slow, and then that water warmed up, and now it's gangbusters. Yep, yep. They're picking up. The bite's getting better. We'll have fun when we get up above there, though. All right, good deal. Let's let this guy go. Hey, oh, he's a jumper. What, do you, what do you got, a fish? The slump jumper. Been in a slump for about 20 minutes, Brian. Yeah, it's been a slump. Do a flippy. Oh, oh Slimer. Slimer. It catches everything. It does catch everything. Catches everything. You got any marks on him? Or a musky or something? Nope, no marks. Oh, okay. Slimy. Thanks, you, buddy. Hold him. Oh, you want to hold? I'm sorry. Go get him, go get him Lucy. Them. You don't want to. Got a little better yeah, one. A little better one, I think. Come oh, on. I dig. Smallmouth <laughs> man, we're in pound for pound. They are oh, fun to catch. Big. He's digging down. Yeah, a little better. We're getting yeah. there. They're you know, getting it is bigger as we go along. Yeah, as it goes along, it seems like the fish are definitely the average size that, is getting a little bigger. That, that Lots of action. Ooh, that jerk minnow! I love it. Want more of it? <laughs> Hey, ho, 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 ho. you just caught that bass. Well, oh, hey, this is no bass. Nice walleye. Right. Look at that. You know, reminds me of, I thought we were gonna have a double there. Reminds me of being out on the bay out there. I'll tell you, that jerk minnow, I have caught more fish on this jerk minnow than, than you could shake a stick at. And again, I'm just popping it, just, just letting it slide down that current seam, and them fish just come around and just crack it. Hey Brian, some people just came by us. Uh, there's not many people up here, but they're kind of pulling spinners and catching walleyes too. Some crawlers, yeah, I like yeah. to do it plastics. I love that jerk bait. Yeah, I do too. It's just interesting. Hey, you know what's interesting? I'm gonna let this walleye go, um, but you know what? You know what's interesting is you were saying before how you take a scissors and you cut part of that that jerk minnow off right away, which is in, and I did that with this one, 
and it does fit up there a little bit better and doesn't slide back so much. A little bit better meat so it grabs on that spike, you know? Yep. So it holds it on there better. And I'll show you some other stuff we get up on top there. Uh, when you got a jerk minnow and you, you know, it's broke off, you can cut it with the scissors and use the smaller part where it's really good. We'll show you that later on. That's a good tip. Yeah, you know what? Anything that you can uh, do to uh, recycle that bait and let it last a little bit longer. You know, it's amazing, Brian. We just kind of move up that current seam now, and uh, you know, it seems like you catch four or five, six fish out of one little spot, and then it gets kind of slow. Then you move up to another spot, and then all of a sudden you hit four or five spots, and then we kind of slid back, and it's like they reloaded again, you know? Yeah, I think them fish are moving back and forth. The water's warm, so they're up in this current. There's more oxygen and more food up here, so they're hanging up in the current. <laughs> I tell you, I just put that Kalen's grub on there about five, six casts ago, just to try something a little bit different because we keep uh, going over to the same 10 spots here, and just to give them a little bit, ooh, that's a little better fish, a little better visual on it. And boy, I tell you, he just absolutely lit that thing right up. It's amazing them smallmouth, you know, what? how they fight. There we go, a little prettier fish. We're getting there. Not quite like out on the lake yet, but I'll tell you, lots of action. You know, that's kind of the, the part I really love about this river fishing, Brian. We didn't go probably 10, 15 minutes all morning so far without catching at least something, a walleye, a northern, or a smallmouth. You know, and basically, again, just working these spots back and forth. And like I said, they re, seems like they reload. Um, and just so we're spending about 15 minutes on a spot and then moving up and then keep moving and then working ourselves back here. I'll let this guy go here. Hey, uh, I tell you what, I'm getting pretty hungry, buddy. And you promised me walleye cheeks. Walleye cheeks it is, very shortly here. It'll be good, big pile, you're in for a treat. I can't wait, my belly's growling thinking about it too. Yeah, we got a fish yet this afternoon. We'll right. be sleeping in the bowl going. You got Cindy hooking the boat now, so we're, we're stuck. Right. Best fish ride in the state, right here. You know what? In the I hate to say this, I hope I don't create any problems. I think this fish fries better than the shotgun Schaefer. You can put that camera down. Yeah, you can put the camera down. Camera down and eat. Hi, Steve Schaefer. Oh, hold on. Shotgun Chef Steve Schaefer. Almost forgot. My buddy Larry Smith, you guys ever hear the guy? He just dropped off some fish that he caught a couple weeks ago in the Apostle Islands. I mean, look at the colors on this stuff. Beautiful. What I'm going to do, a little salt, pepper, Olive oil, it's going on a grill. And if you guys remember a couple weeks ago when I made my watermelon salsa, we're gonna slap that on top. There's nothing better than fresh trout on the grill. You can do whatever you want. They got cedar planks, all that stuff. But I just like going pretty much basic, having fun with it. Again, when you throw it on the grill, it's only gonna be a couple minutes. My grill's outside, hot already, ready to go. Let's walk outside and put this on the grill. Rub it in, make it look nice and pretty. All right, here we are on the grill. Putting the salmon on, or the trout on the grill. Hear that hissing? Once again, we got that thing smoking hot. It's not gonna take long with this grill at 500 degrees. All right, let's see. It's been uh, almost 12 minutes on the grill at almost 500 degrees. Oh, see how it's, oh, perfect. Let's pull them off. This trout looks awesome. So, you know, folks, who cares if the skin stays on the grill? There's nothing wrong with that. You're not going to eat the skin anyhow. Just got to clean it a little later. Look at how beautiful that trout looks. This stuff was out of Lake Superior. This is beautiful fish. Oop. 
Let's go inside, put my watermelon salsa on this, and call it a day. We're in the kitchen, we're gonna plate this up. Trout from Apostle Islands on the table here. I just took a piece off to show you guys what it looks like, how it flakes up. That's the way it should look. See how it's coming off of there? Nice and moist. But here's the kicker. Remember a couple episodes ago, I made some watermelon salsa. You take this, sprinkle it over the top, put it on the table, and everybody and their brother would be around eating this stuff up. Look at how beautiful that looks. Let's try it. Mm. Hey, Larry. Thanks for the trout, dude. About time you start feeding me. In the kitchen, a shotgun, Steve Schaefer. Trout from Apostle Islands. I want to throw a shout out too for my buddies, Jeff Lorenz, Don Kalinowski for using my recipes and letting me know how they taste. Keeps telling me people how it's going. It's, this is going great. Sign off, Larry. Subscribe now to never miss an issue of the Badger Sportsman magazine. This issue features Green Bay Packer Jeff Janis. Along with great celebrity profiles, you'll find everything you need to know to have fun and be successful outdoors in Wisconsin. For availability in your area and subscription information, check out badgersportsman.com today. Kalen's, it even catches the small ones. It even catches the small ones. <laughs> Look at that little baby. See, you gotta give him a kiss, you go. Mwah. Ew. It's all yours. Lucy, so what do you got? Up. Keep going. Ooh, that's a good one. A nice one. job, Lucy. Good job, Luce. Woo. Oh, Hold it up for Daniel. Nice Yay. job. Oh, I got one too. Oh, oh that no. was a good fish. Holy man. They're here. Yeah, I just lost them. Nice job. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, nice fish. Nice fish, Luce. That's a nice fish. Gotta like that. All right, look Woo! at that. You got the biggest one in the day, girl. Where'd you get that by that log right there? I was just gonna cast that's out nice of that fish. log, too. Nice fish. Nice fish, girl. Whew, I just wiped, oh, there's some, this feels like a little better. Wiping the sun block out of my eyes. Ooh, I'll tell you, you know what? I put that tube on here a little while ago. Obviously, oh, that's a nicer fish. You know, you swear that every one of these is gonna be five pounds. Oh, did he absolutely inhale that tube jig. Look at that tube. All the way down the old hatcheroni. Here we go, Larry. Oh, I might have cut you off. No, that's okay. Sorry, Cindy. Here's a good one, Larry. Oh, that's a good fish. We're gonna Look get some more. They're piled in here. I got one too. Double. Holy man. They are just absolutely They're loaded. Piled Look at this. In here. Look, nice fish. Piled in here. This is this is a fish after fish after fish. That's a nice fish. I'll tell you what. That's what we like to do. Doubles. That is absolutely beautiful. Doubles. Let's and get I'm, some more. Let's get some more. I cannot get over every cast. I've gotten a bite. Cindy, sorry, I cut you off of the motor. You know he did that on purpose, Cindy. Took her right out of commission. Unbelievable. I just cannot get over. 
the amount of small mouth. This one, I don't know. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a nice fish. Look at that. I'll tell you something. It's been fish after fish. Look at, look at that Kalen's. Jerk minnow? You got the jerk minnow, I got the, the two. Boy, I'll tell you. He and these, a, he oh, that's a that, ball. The current makes up for their size, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'll tell you that. Let's Look how dark them fish are. It's Look at dark. that tube jig. <laughs> Yeah, just, yeah, just keep going. Keep your rod up. No, let him fight out. Let him fight out. Keep your rod up. Well, no, it's just a nice mama. Nice fish. Keep your rod up. Oh, you can put that. It's a nice fish. <laughs> I had to throw a Selmo on there. And first cast with that Selmo. Oh, that's a nice fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got myself. Boy, my wife's going to be mad about them pants. And you know what they say? Insist on Selmo. Do the old flip Nice. Nice. Very nice. I'll tell you what. Got to love it. Get this Kalen's jerk minnow out of my cold, dead hands. I will not give it up. They love them. Hey, 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 Brian, you had just said to me three minutes ago, when that sun starts going down, the walleye start going. And I'll tell you, I just caught a small one on that first cast on this Selmo that we didn't film. And then all of a sudden, now this one right here, I'll tell you what, you are 100% right. I'm going to tell you something, Brian. Last time we fished with you up here, you said we were gonna catch how many fish? A hundred fish. A hundred fish. Well, you were wrong, unfortunately. But today, you have redeemed yourself, my friend, by far. One explosive day, Brian, up on this Menominee River. We had an absolutely ball. I'm still stuffed from the lunch that we had. And what an absolutely awesome place to fish. And I'll tell you, you definitely redeemed yourself, my friend. I'll tell you that we definitely caught probably 80 to 100 fish today and nothing real big but just a ton of really respectable nice fish and it was a lot of fun I'll tell you hey if people want to come up and enjoy this great fish and how long is this going to go yet this will go up till the water starts cooling off once that water gets about 70 it'll slow down a little bit okay we can still catch them all year long well if people want to go with you how do they get a hold of you? Give me a call, 715-735-7346, or you can check me out on Facebook, BAC Guide Service. I appreciate that. Cindy, thank you very much. Thank like you. a pleasure. Lucy, hey what, Brian, I'll tell you something. I wish I could grow a head of hair like you. I'll tell you that. We had an absolutely ball, and I'll tell you, like I always say, it was a great day to be alive. For sure. My pleasure, Lair. Thanks, buddy. Oh well, yeah, you're looking pretty sexy there, Claremont. You, know, you got kind of Oh, got the camera. Oh, he's got the camera. <laughs> oh.